Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360 and this Facebook question. I thought this was a bit interesting, uh, these are two catfoods through a conic shape, I have taken a bit further, the outside is drafted, the inside is drafted, it's the same profile all the way around, and we have two cutouts. Uh, this one here looks like a happy face, this is a simple uh, sorry, not that one. I was opposed up to the extrude. This is a simple rectangle box uh, cutting through a cone shape. And if you do that, looking from the outside, you can get this happy face. But the design intent is to get this straight rectangle shape. If you're looking from the straight from the side, the top and bottom edges are parallel to the bot top and bottom of the cone shape. So the inside is going to look whatever it looks like. This case is going to be smaller because the inside here is, you can see, it's angled in the other direction from this outside face. So let's get started and have a look at this. I'm going to create a new design. First of all, I'm just going to simply create a cone shape. So I will not talk too much here. I'm going to simply do a circle, 150 millimeters. Going to extrude it up. Going to do a thin extrude. Let's do it 38 millimeters in height, 6 millimeters wide, and like that. Gonna open up a browser and hide our sketch. Gonna do some drafting. We're gonna draft this outside angle. Let's do it 28. Repeat draft. And this one here is gonna do 10. Can I type in a piece 10? So we have two draft angles. Let's have a look at the second analysis. So you can see we have like an angle cone, slightly more angle of outside than the inside, just to have different angle faces. So, step one, let's have a look at our design intent here again. We want a rectangle shape here. So, I'm going to start by sketching the rectangle. Create sketch, one of a region plane, do it so I'm looking from the front. Create a rectangle, do it somewhere outside here. Do a line from the midpoint down here and straight down to here. Finish that. I'm going to select this line and make it vertical. I will also make this line a construction line and then dimension this to be like 8. Yeah, that's good. This line here is going to be 12. And here we're going to be 35. Nice wide rectangle. And you see it exists on the region plane here. And that's all we need. But we don't need it there. We now need this sketch to move out to the face here. We can do that. Create a sketch. Can select any plane we want because we're going to do a 3D projection, but Fusion always asks for a plane, so simplicity. I'm just going to select the top plane here and I'm going to do create, project include, project to surface. What surface? This face here, and then curves are going to be these here. And a projection type is going to be a long vector. If you happen to have closest point, you normally get an error. Don't get confused by this error. Don't care about that. If you get the start point, change projection type to a long vector. The vector we want to use is the axis that goes perpendicular to our sketch plane. And that's the y axis. You can see we get two projections of this curve to the face. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to tell Fusion that mark up this and delete it because I only want one projection to work with. And if we have a look from the front, you can see this is the projection of a rectangle. They line up if we're looking from the front. So we're going to finish sketch. Going to hide that rectangle sketch for now. And now we need to create some side geometry. We're going to need a line we can create a, a we call it plane along path is the word I'm looking for. So I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to create it on the perpendicular plane to this sketch here. So that's the ZY plane, like that. I'm going to hide the body. I'm just turning around things like that slightly. S on the keyboard and intersect. We're looking for the intersect command. We want to do specified entities and it's these two entities. Hit OK and hide this, uh, this projection sketch. You can still can see it here if I move over slightly shaded and look at. I'm going to do a line from here to here. And then I'm going to do another line that I will use later. So I'm going to do a straight down and into here. So I make a small triangle here, horizontal vertical constraint. 
I'm going to tell Fusion with this line, hold down control and select the rest of the lines and turn them into construction geometry. Like that. And a midpoint constraint between these two lines. I'm going to add some dimensions. Here I can dimension the angle of a cut. So let's say it's going to be 35, 36 degrees for the fun of it. And we need to cut a the length of this cut we're going to do later, so it needs to go all the way through the body. So I'm going to select this and let's look at uh, 35 millimeters, should be enough. Yes, that's all the way through. You can control it here. And I'm going to finish sketch. And I'm going to turn on my surface projection sketch. Do construction, plane along path, select the path we created here, pull it all the way out, hit OK, and tell Fusion. I want to create a sketch on my new beautiful little plane. P for project. And here, once again, we're going to project in this rectangle shape now. So we have done it, projected twice. First, we have taken a rectangle, projected it out to the normal rectangle. We create a rectangle here, project it out to the surface. That's not enough because that's not the profile for the cut. So we create the the dimension of the path of the cut, this line here, create a plane along path, move it all the way out and project it once again. So this is going to be a profile we're going to cut with. So I'm going to finish sketch, E on the keyboard for extrude, select our little profile, that's a flat profile, distance, we can do two object. I'm going to use the sketch to drive the extrude, and do it into this point here and hit OK. And as you can see, if you look at this here, it's a bit hard to see. I'm going to hide this sketch and this sketch. You can see the cut lines up with the sketch we have. Looking from the front, front, we can see that this cut now lines up with the rectangle we created. So this is the rectangle. It's cut at an angle upwards. And if you need more around, because that's a the region we can do circular pattern of feature, this cut feature around this axis, and yes, eight times, and we get eight cuts. And of course, now we can turn on our sketches, make the dimensions visible by doing show dimensions. So uh, maybe the angle was too much, I only wanted a 30 degree angle. Uh, maybe the height of the cutoff was a bit too much, it was only supposed to be eight. It was supposed to be six millimeters from the bottom and it was supposed to be 45 millimeters wide, much wider. We can now drive everything with uh, dimension in the sketches and it updates nicely. So this is a possible workflow for making the design intent rectangular shapes looking from the side that's cut at an angle through a conic shape. Hope you learned something. Take care and see you around. Goodbye.